Okay, welcome back for another Linux Shell tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at um, uh, calculating how many Friday the 13ths are in a given year. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. There is a command that's probably on your system called Cal. And if you run that command and just hit enter, it's going to tell you the current month, year, and highlight what day it is. And I guess I know you're probably watching this months later. Um, so here we go, we have August 2017, but if we give it a year, for example, 2017, it will print the full year for you. There's 2015, 2014. Want to see the calendar for 2100? Uh, yeah, 2100? There it is. So that's a quick and easy way, but we're going to use this to calculate Friday the 13th. Now, you notice that the, col the, the way it's organized with each month is that we can count columns. So let me count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six is a column for Fridays. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is another column for Mondays or Fridays. <laughs> Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is the follow, uh, final column for Fridays. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that calendar command and we'll put in 2017, and we will pipe that into awk which you can do a lot of stuff with awk. And inside single quotations and some curly braces, we're going to say print. So we're telling it what we want to print. We're going to give it columns. If we say dollar sign six, it'll print column six. Dollar sign 13 will print column uh, 13 and 20 will print 20. And if we hit enter now, we have now printed out every column that is a Friday. Let's go ahead and add a little bit to that though. We're going to go back in here and in between each one of those we're going to add quotation, space, quotation. Quotation, space, quotation. So now we have a space in between each one of those columns. Again, creating columns rather than having everything in one column. So what we can do now is we can pipe that command into the tr command. And we're going to say tr quotation, space, quotation, space, quotation, backslash, and Quotation. So what this is saying, TR, if you've watched some of my tutorials in the past, is a command that will replace one character with another. So we're saying find in the output of this every single space and make it a new line. So what that does is it puts every single one of those lines on its own line. Now we can use grep. So we have only Fridays and every single Friday is on its own line. So now we can say grep 13 and it displays how many 13s appear in that calendar year. Let's go ahead and give it another year. Let's try 2016. There was only one Friday the 13th. If we go 2015, there were three. If we go 2000, let's say 14, there was only one. Well, let's say we're trying to get the number of them. So with grep, we can say dash C, which instead of giving us the output of lines, it just gives us the count. So for 2014, it will say there was one. For 2015, it says three. 2016, one, and 2017 will be two. So now we can put this in a loop if we wanted to see uh, over the years how many uh, Friday the 13th there are. So let's go ahead and, and uh, since this we're going to get into a couple of lines here, let's go ahead and copy the line we just created. And I'm going to open up Vim. I'll just call this f13.sh. And of course, I'm going to start with my shebang line, which just tells our system what uh, interpreter to use. And we're going to use the bash interpreter for this. And that's important because we're going to loop through some numbers, a sequence of numbers, and that varies from shell to shell. Uh, I'll try to give you an example to see if I can get to mess up using a different shell here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and say four year in, and we're going to say brace expansions. We'll say 2000 dot dot to 2050. So that will loop through those numbers one at a time. Do, done, and if I just come in here and say echo, I can say echo dollar sign year. So year is the variable we created. Let's go ahead and save this. Make that executable with change mod plus x. We only have to do this once on this system. And then dot slash f13. And when we run that, you can see it's looped through um, every number from 2000 to 2050. Let's go ahead and go back into our uh, script here. 
And again, I'm using Vim. You can use whatever text editor you prefer. And I'm going to now add in our line of code from earlier, but instead of saying 2017, I'm going to paste our variable of year in there. So now it should loop through each year. And we're going to say this year has, and we're going to put this, the output of this command into a variable. So the way we do that is you get it in a name. So we'll just say uh, num for the number output. And then we're going to say inside quotations. The quotations aren't necessary, but I like to use them. But uh, dollar sign and then inside parentheses our command. And what that does is it runs these commands and then it's going to put the output of those commands into that variable there. And then we can use that variable so we can say year whatever has dollar sign num Friday the 13th. And if we did everything properly, we can run that command again with dot slash. The dot slash just says we're running a script that's in the current directory. And there you go. You can see which year, each year, and how many Friday the 13th it has. But let me go ahead and uh, give you an example. Uh, let's see if this works. If I get rid of my shebang line and I exit out of here and I say that, oh, we got an error. Why did that happen? But if I'm like this, it works. Well, whoa, 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 what just happened there? And this is why I stress, not just with shell scripts, but with all scripts, whether you're using Python or Perl, make sure you have your shebang line and don't just trust the system to figure out what you're doing. So the command works here, but if I type exit and run it again, it doesn't work. And the reason is the default shell on my system is not bash, it's Z shell. And Z shell doesn't use brace expansions like bash does. So it's looking at this and going, well, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, it's actually taking that and putting it into a, a variable, kind of. Uh, that's why it says this output, it thinks it's a string, has 0 Friday the 13th. And the cal command doesn't know what to do with that because that's not a valid year. So if we go back into vim this, again, make sure you have your shebang line. Um, but actually, let's try something else. Let me remove that. And instead of using the brace expansions, what we can do is we can use a command. So I can say uh, back, uh, back tick, which is uh, next to the one on your top row of your keyboard, if you're using a standard uh, QWERTY keyboard. And I can say 2000, 2050. So what this is, this is a command. It's a separate command that will iterate through, count through these numbers. And that's a little more universal. And this command, the sequence command, is on almost every system. It's built into BusyBox, which I mentioned a lot in the past. If you're on a router, uh, you can get this up and running. It probably already has it, and if not, you can copy a BusyBox binary over and it's there. Uh, so now, I should be able to run that, and it works. So brace expansions are nice because it doesn't start up a new process to calculate those numbers, but using the sequence command makes it more universal to pretty much every system I've ever worked on. So I used to use brace expansions before I realized that, which is a couple of years ago when I started using the Z shell, and then I switched to using uh, the sequence command. But you should still tell the system what interpreter to use, in this case, bash. If, you, if you're writing a bash script, use bash. If you're writing in some other shell, you use that shell. Um, and if you use just dot s, or not dot sh, but bin sh, usually that defaults to the system's default, which again on my system is not bash. So stuff to think about there. But I hope you found this useful. You know, I showed you how to calculate the Fridays like that. That was um, an example. Uh, and I gave you a little more than what this tutorial was on. So I hope you found that useful a little tidbit on uh, on the brace expansions there and stuff. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description as well as a link to my Patreon page. I appreciate any support you can give me. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. All that stuff helps me out a bunch. Um, and you can also go to my uh, website, filmsbychris.com, uh, to support me using PayPal if you can't use um, Patreon for some reason. Uh, I do appreciate any support that is given to me. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.